Uh, my name is Jeff Murphy. I'm with Premium Supply. We are here today to talk about hydraulics on utility trailers. Many people get into building trailers and when they do, they're good at welding, they're good at putting on axles, they're good at putting on wiring, all kinds of things. But when it comes to hydraulics, that's when it gets to be a little, little bit technical and hopefully they come to us for that. And whenever we do look at putting hydraulics on a trailer, main thing we focus on is efficiencies, where you can get the most dumps per battery life. And we have a wide variety of ways of doing that, depending on what circuit approach you choose. If you're looking at a dump trailer, for example, there's three different choices. You can either go with a hoist, which is the most efficient on your battery life. You can go with a direct push cylinder, which we'll talk about here in a few minutes. Those aren't as good, but they have advantages as well. You can also go with a telescopic cylinder. Each one of them have their pros and cons, and we will talk about those today. And also, then you got the plumbing side of the circuit, and there's a variety of ways you can address that. So we got pros and cons there that we'll go over as well. You can also have hydraulic jacks, and you can have battery maintenance products. Uh, we highly recommend taking care of your battery, because once you put hydraulics on a trailer, your hydraulics are only as good as your battery. We got a variety of ways of keeping that up. So that's it for now. We'll come back soon with looking at each component on a case-by-case -case basis and giving you an education on each one. Thank you. If you already have hydraulics on your trailer, such as a dump, you may already have the pump that you need. All you would need in that situation is our selector valve. And once you flip the switch, you can go from your jacks to your dump. Very easy to use your same pump. This is KTI that we're the biggest distributor. We also offer a wireless remote with these. Or your other option is to pull your pump out, go with our four button pump, which is two cylinder circuits in one. And these are also available with wireless remote. We are one of the biggest distributors for KTI and it's one of the best pumps on the market. This particular one is for a single cylinder circuit, which can be used if you just want to put hydraulic jacks and nothing else on your trailer, or if you want to just do a dump. So it can do it just one cylinder only. Uh, it's available with wireless remote, uh, and it's also available with manual override in case you ever get stuck in the up position and you want to manually bring it down so you can get it home and take, you know, work on it. KTI is one of the more innovative pump manufacturers on the market. They offer quick disconnects coming off of the pump. They also have a quick disconnect coming off of the pendant. So if you ever just run over this part, it's easy to install a new pendant. Also, they offer wireless remotes, a variety of them. This one is your standard wireless remote, similar to any pin that you might see, like for your car. Has the same quick disconnects. These wires go to your battery. Here's your antenna. Off you go. You can easily install this in the field. This has the same approach, but this particular one is Bluetooth. You can work it with your phone, or you can work it with the key fob. Same setup, you have the quick disconnects to wire into your cord. And with both of these products, you still have the ability for your pendant in case you lose this or this. Uh, and here's the antennas for this unit. One is for your phone and one is for your pendant. In order for our road charger to work, you must have power at your seven way. Not all vehicles have power at your seven way. Most 250 and up will have that standard. Not all 150s do. So in order to make sure you have it on a 150 or below, you'll have to test it either with your own testing procedure or you can use one of these testers that we carry. I'll bring it up here where you can have a little closer look. You can see that light's got to be on, showing 12 volt. I want to turn the vehicle off just to let you see that sometimes vehicles are wired where even when it's turned off, you still have power to seven way. And if you do, then the road charger will still work even when the vehicle's turned off. One of the nice features of the road charger is it does have brains in it. It will monitor the battery of the truck and make sure it never gets too low to start the truck. If it gets too low, it'll turn itself off. So you still always have plenty of power to start the truck. So let's try this. So as you can see, this truck does not have that setup where it's going to continue to give you power when the truck is turned off. But you may have that, and if you do, then you can get that benefit. This is our road charger. This unit allows you to work with your standard 7-way. It puts out up to 20 amps when you're going down the highway. It only works when you have power at your 7-way. We showed you in a video earlier how to test that, and if you need help testing that. Uh, it also comes with these wires. These two go to the negative side, this goes to the positive side. 
This has a temperature sensor. It is watching the battery, making sure that the temperature is not too high. The higher the temperature, the fewer amps it takes. Many years ago, I was looking for a heavy duty solar panel to offer with dump trailers. I was looking for something that could handle rocks and debris. Tried out many of them and they all failed the test until I came across Pulse Tech. These guys have been in uh, business for many years and their number one customer still today is the US military. So they meet mil spec. You can hit them with a hammer. They also do not film over time, so they keep their efficiencies throughout their life. They have a pulse that keeps lead acid batteries from sulfating. Here's what the pulse does for you. All lead acid batteries sulfate over time. So if a battery is similar to a five gallon gas tank, the first year it's five gallon gas tank, the next year it's four, the next year it's three, it's robbing you of the capacity to hold a charge and eventually the battery goes bad. This right here ensures you're gonna have a five gallon gas tank for the life of that battery making your batteries live three to five times longer. And they do come with a lifetime warranty. One of the products that we use are the Panamount AC chargers. We have three to choose from, either a five amp, an eight amp, or an 18 amp. It's always best to put in as many amps as you can, but we have all three available. They all come with a panel mount to make it easy to plug into anytime you're near AC power. As we've discussed before, we have a variety of ways to keep your batteries fresh so you never have any problems. And when you put them all three together, our solar panel, our road charger, and our panel mount charger, that's giving you the best position to have the fewest problems. As you've been told, our solar panels pulse and they're heavy duty, they're military spec. You can hit them with a hammer. This gives you 20 amps when you're going down the highway. And this gives you the ability to plug in when you're near AC power. Each one of these products have its benefits. This does a great job when you're tied to your truck. This does a good job when your trailer is just sitting out in the sunlight for days at a time. And this is when you're near AC power. So the more you can charge your battery, the less problems you're gonna have and the less downtime you're gonna have. Okay, one of the many things we talk about is battery problems. Everybody has them because you're pulling a lot more amps here than you normally would with your vehicle. First things that go out when you start getting a low battery is your start solenoid. This is a magnet inside here with a good strong battery. The magnet is pulling down and getting you started on the electric motor, closing your circuit so your pump will do its thing. When it gets weak, it kind of dithers, gets a little powder in there, and these things either weld shut and your pump runs till it burns out or it burns out on its own. So this is the most common item to go out because of battery low. It's not because the pump has any issues, it's because your battery is low. The other thing is, Normally, whenever a pump has a strong battery, it's putting out two gallons a minute. And if it's a double acting circuit, you got two gallons a minute going out and about two gallons a minute coming back in because the cylinder itself is acting as a uh, reservoir. So now let's say your battery's half charged. It's only doing one gallon a minute out. You still got two gallons a minute coming in because of the weight of the trailer. What happens is the reservoir overfills and it burps out fluid get calls all the time. People say, hey, we got fluid burping out the deal. Your pump's got issues. It's not because of the pump. It's because of the battery. What we normally tell people to do in those situations is to take a running vehicle with jumper cables, hook them to that battery, and nine times out of ten, we do not get a call back. But if that happens many times, there is a little uh, sponge in here that allows these things to breathe. And if those get saturated, now your reservoir becomes a pressure chamber. It expands and contracts because it's not allowing the air to come back in and forth. And eventually the reservoir will either crack or the O-ring will squirt out where the reservoir goes to the manifold. So with all that said, these are the two most common products that go bad on a pump. So we have developed what we call our first aid kit. It just comes with these part, two parts in it. It's similar to on your vehicle, you have spare fuses in your vehicle. Well, this gives you the spare most common com components that go out on your trailer. You throw this in the toolbox and you're always protected in case one of these items go out. So there are two things you hear us talk about a lot. We talk about battery maintenance and fluid contamination. If you can keep your fluid clean and keep your battery up, you're going to have very few problems and very little downtime. A lot of people like to make their own hoses and we do have a hose crimping machine in house for custom hoses but typically we have them brought in from a supplier pre-made for the majority of our standard kits. And the customer or the company that we get them from is called Pressure Connections. What they'll do is they'll cut the hose and if you've ever cut a hose, it's very similar to cutting a tire. There's metal in here, there's rubber in here, and then you got the metal of the crimp itself. 
that is very contaminating and if that ever gets into a valve on a pump that will cause you problems. So what you need to do once you make your hose is blow a little projectile through it to clean it out and then put these caps on it until you're ready to use. So you know your hose is totally clean. So that's one thing we do with all of our hoses. So if you're getting them from us, you're getting that advantage. The other thing is we have this one fitting that goes on all of our standard hydraulic kits, at least if it's a dump, it goes on the bottom port. So if the dump is in the up position and a hose fails, it comes down at a very controlled uh, speed, giving the person more time to get out from underneath the trailer. We're constantly talking about downtime and battery life and many products to allow you to have as little downtime as possible. Uh, one of the things that we develop is a troubleshooting sticker. The customer can put that on the inside of their toolbox and therefore when they're in the field and they start having some problems with their pump, they can look through here on some short ideas on how to repair it and get going again without having to pick up the phone and call anyone. Uh, the other thing that we highly recommend, we put it here in red, is never high pressure wash your toolbox. These pumps, motor, the motors that are on these pumps are not designed to be waterproof. And if we ever see a, a pump with uh, rust in it, we'll know that that's been done and that does void the warranty. So very important to never high pressure wash your toolbox. Short of putting a hydraulic hoist on this table for you to see, uh, we have a couple of other ways we can talk about hoist. Here's our uh, company brochure that we hand out at the trade shows, shows you a couple pictures. We have 11 different models available. And here is our installation manual, which has all 11 models in it, depending on your requirements, from a small trailer to a very large trailer. One of the advantages of going with a hoist is you're going with a much smaller cylinder, so your pump doesn't have to run near as long, so you're gonna get more dumps out of your battery life. So therefore, anybody ask me the most efficient system, this is the most efficient system. When it comes to building a dump trailer, there are three different ways that most people do them, either scissors, telescopic cylinder, or what we call direct push, which is whenever you just use a standard cylinder. You can use one for a small dump trailer, or you can use two for a larger dump trailer. One of the more popular models is a three and a half inch bore, 30 inch stroke. We carry them both in the tie rod and in the welded. They both have the same dimensions. These are rated for 3000 PSI. These are rated for 2500 PSI. We also have a full range of cylinders. Our brand is premium and we stock a variety for dump trailers, for tilt decks, for anything you might want to get into. Uh, one of the advantages or disadvantages of doing this is these do require a lot more runtime on your pump so the batteries don't last as long but it is not a bad circuit. There's plenty of power whenever you go with this type of approach. It is one of the lower cost approach, so it is very popular. We talk a lot about batteries being an issue when you have hydraulics on your trailers. There's a variety of things you can do to help your position. One of them is a jump starter kit. There's small ones on the market. People sometimes carry in their glove box. If their car has an issue starting, they can use it to jump start their car. We tried one of those and they didn't get us very far with a dump treader because they pull so many amps. So we asked our supplier if they had a heavier doo-doo model. This one is good for 12 or 24 volts and it'll give you, depending on how heavy your load is, two to three dumps. You plug this into here and you have these components here. Either you have the 12 volt that goes straight in here, this goes into that, or the 24 volt that goes into here to go straight into that. So just one of the many options we have to help you out and keep you from having downtime. Okay, with all the neat battery maintenance products that we offer, we came up with this contraption. We call it our power box. It utilizes all the products that we offer, including a master shutoff, eliminating any parasitic draw. It's got our road charger on it, our solar panel on it and also has our Panamount AC charger on it. And this one has an inverter in it, so you can get AC power on the job. You can use that for, we have some plug-ins over here, where you can plug in your phone or your uh, small devices, phone related, you know, music on the job, things like that. <clears throat> and this here is to charge your tools, like your battery oper operated drills, or you can also charge things like forklifts man lifts, 
anything you want to going down the highway. So this has really been a good product for rental fleets. So just another opportunity to make some money if you're a dealer or a manufacturer for that matter. Uh, you've heard us talk about the lifting mechanism when it comes to lifting a dump trailer and the choices that you have. This is a choice that is now becoming more and more popular. It really does give out a lot of force. So that is the pro of this approach. One of the cons are you do have to have a much larger reservoir. They're only available in single acting. And if you do want to haul equipment, the trailer might come up as you're trying to load your equipment because there's only one check on the hydraulic circuit and it's to keep the bed from coming down when you have it in the up position. It is not to keep the bed from going up when it's in the down position. But as I said, these things will lift a lot. So uh, that's the advantage of the telescopics. Uh, and it is all in the front of the trailer. So if you have a problem, you can work on it easily. You don't have to get underneath the trailer. Um, this particular power unit you're seeing here is used for whenever you want a telescopic cylinder with our double acting hydraulic jacks. So one half of the circuit here is single acting and the other half is double acting. And here's your mounting hardware. These two pieces go to the upper body. That's where the uh, trunnion mounts mount. And then this portion here, there's a bolt down here that goes into the H frame for the lower part of your frame. One of the many popular things to put on trailers are winches. We are a Smitty built winch dealer, offer a wide variety. The two most popular when it comes to trailers are the 10,000K, which is used on car haulers, and this is the 17.5, which is used on roll offs. They come standard with a wireless remote setup. You just disconnect here, and there's your wireless remote. They also are waterproof standard. So this is one of the many items that does create amp draw. So it does go back to a battery related issue. You just need to take good care of your batteries because these are amp draw hogs. But other than that, they're a great product. Okay, you hear us talk a lot about amp draw and downtime. When it comes to putting hydraulics or winches on a trailer, it is very important to keep your battery up. I do have a couple examples of how I think batteries work, although I'm not fully in tune with how these things work. Um, batteries are similar to gas tanks in the sense that they are an energy storage device. So when you buy a brand new battery, it's similar to a brand new five gallon gas tank. And if you're using our desulfating product, you're gonna have a ga five gallon gas tank 10 years from now. But if you're not, you're gonna have sulfation issues and you're gonna lose the capacity to hold a charge. That's one problem that will happen. You always notice how you have to clean the post and you have to add water. If you're keeping your battery from desulfating, you'll never have to clean your post and you'll never have to add water. There's that. The other thing, batteries are also similar to air tanks. If you've ever had an impact and you wanted to reach a certain torque and you needed 100 PSI here to reach that torque and all of a sudden your air tank drops down to 90 PSI and now you can't reach that torque, that's like a battery as well. When a battery is fully charged, you're getting the optimal uh, energy output but if it just goes down a little bit in volts then you're going to have problems it's not about volts when it comes to having good batteries on your trailers it's about cranking amps and the only way to determine whether or not you got enough cranking amps is to do a cranking amp test that tells you how much gas you have in your tank so, okay we like to call this the four p's starts out with your power source then your pump then your plumbing then your push so basically when it comes to the hydraulic circuit on your trailer, there's a variety of ways to get there, but you can't get away from the four P's. You gotta start with your battery and you better be doing good battery maintenance or you're gonna have problems. Then you go to your pump. You can go either double acting or single acting. Single acting does have less amp draw, but you don't have the ability to have that secondary check if you wanna load equipment with a ramp. Now you go to your plumbing, your hoses, your fittings, you need to clean those when you make them, or if you get them from us, we'll ensure that that's done. Also, make sure you got something in case there's a hose failure. We use a load control. Now you got three different basic ways of the lifting mechanism. The hoist, which is the most efficient when it comes to battery life. Dual cylinder, which is very powerful, but battery life is subject because the pump's gotta run a lot longer for those cylinders. And the telescopic, which is very powerful as well, 
but in this scenario you can only do single acting so you have to have a much bigger reservoir and you can never have a secondary check so they all have pros and cons and we stock a variety of ways to get there this is a KTI pump this is the most common double acting circuit which is for a single cylinder circuit so if you have this on your trailer and you want to add more circuits say you want to go with jacks and a dump or even more some people like to go with a uh, hydraulic door on the back of the dump this allows you to have three individual cylinder circuits based off your standard uh, double acting pump so typically whenever you hit this with your button here you're energizing the starter solenoid for the motor gets it running and you're shifting a valve so it's asking two valves to energize now when you hook this to here you're going to get three valves to energize and with this switch you can select this one or this one so depending on which one you just come up here and select this switch and it gives you that cylinder circuit this does exactly the same thing except for four cylinders so you got four jacks and you want to individually work them that's how you do it here with your selector valve okay we also offer hydraulic jacks currently we have three different models this is our 12k hydraulic jack it has onboard load holding so if there were ever a hose to fail while you're going down the highway this thing holds in its last position come we have them with uh, mounting brackets we have them raw so you can weld them to your trailer if you like and paint them yourself we also have a 7k version that's also available with load holding or without thank you for watching my name is jeff murphy i'm with premium supply we are your trailer hydraulic specialist you can find us on the web at www.premium-supply.com or give us a call at 903-455-7777. Thank you very much.